As always, we're starting in Canva with a custom design, eight and a half by 11. So I actually got the print that I'm using for sublimation off of Etsy. I just thought it was so cute and it was under $2. It says, they see me rolling, they hating. And I just thought it would be perfect for a shirt for my son. So I just added it to Canva and downloaded it as a PNG with a transparent background. And now we're gonna head over to Google Docs and we're going to rename it so that we can save it for later use if need be. And I just named it Nico Shirt. Then we're gonna go to Insert Image and then we're just gonna grab the image that we saved as a PNG in Canva. Now this is too big for his shirt. So we're gonna click on the three dots, click on Size and Rotation and size it down to a size that's more appropriate for a 2T size shirt, which is about four and a half inches. Then you're gonna click on Wrap Text slide it over and center it on the page so that it's not so close to the corner and possibly get cut off in the printer. Go ahead and head to more settings, print use system dialog, and make sure you have your sublimation settings set up and that it's flipped horizontally. And then you're gonna go to print settings and make sure that it's on premium presentation paper matte and on the highest quality possible. And then you're gonna click on print. I'm using my HTV Runt. You're also gonna need some butcher paper, some scissors, and some heat resistant tape. I went ahead and folded the shirt in half and pressed it for about 10 seconds to get rid of any moisture, but also to show me where the middle of the shirt is. Cut the print out in a circle and make sure that you don't keep it in the square shape so it doesn't leave any marks. And then place it in the center of the shirt. I eyeball this, but you can use a t-shirt ruler. I just always make sure it's about an inch and a half down and make sure that you use a lint roller to get any lint and debris off of the shirt. Go ahead and replace it on the shirt. And like I said, I do about an inch, inch and a half down from the collar. And then we're gonna grab our heat resistant tape and tape it down to the shirt. Do not skip this step. It is so important that you put heat resistant tape down. Do all four corners or as much heat resistant tape as you feel comfortable using. Grab some butcher paper and put it on top. And then we're gonna place it into our HTV Rond press. And I press this at 400 for 60 seconds. I love the HTV Rond auto press. I highly recommend it. So go ahead and take it out. And what you wanna do is wait for about 10 to 15 seconds before you remove the sublimation paper because we wanna make sure that it fully sublimates. So give it a second. Once you let it cool down a little bit, go ahead and lift it up and pull it at the tape. Be gentle. You don't want any ghosting or too much shifting. But honestly, this just came out so perfect. I love how vibrant and gorgeous the colors are. Go ahead and always make sure that you do put a piece of cardstock in between the shirt so that the ink doesn't bleed through. And that's it. That's the shirt. Super cute and super easy to make. Follow me for more sublimation tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that notification bell and subscribe. Bye.